how ready do you guys feel to like play a real one? And do you ever know if you're actually ready until you're you're in it? Well, I don't think so. I think uh, the first game usually shows you where you're at, you know, especially playing against a great opponent like Philly is. And it's a very specific team as well, so uh, it will put a lot of emphasis on how, how well prepared we are because you got to play a little differently. They have a uh, obviously big power uh, in the low post, uh, you know, from Joe Embiid, Andre Drummond, Joe Harris can post up a lot, a lot of good shooters. So you got to be very uh, on point on how you prepare for the game and let's see if we are prepared to execute uh, when the season really starts. When you, I guess when you're preparing, it's been a weird off season up there yeah. in Philly. Do you prepare to play Ben Simmons? Like, do you expect him to be on the court? Well, you have to, you know, like you can just uh, look at it like uh, he won't be available, you know, you never know in NBA. Uh, usually it's not the greatest thing is to follow rumors, you know, and we, we, we are in a phase and we focus more on ourselves. And then obviously now, uh, this, today was the per first practice when we prepare for Philly. But, uh, you know, we have to count with uh, him playing and uh, or even the option that he doesn't play. So coaches did a, well, a good job of that, you know, and uh, it doesn't really change much for us. Lily has talked a lot about, like, you guys just have a lot of versatility, one, two, four, guys who yeah. can play multiple positions. Do you feel like, like during training camp, your role has pretty much been the same? Do you feel like it's, it's you know, changing quite a bit? Yeah, a little bit, you know, uh, I play a lot of the ball, which uh, I didn't really play like last couple of years, but, you know, I feel comfortable with these guys to play there, uh, to, to kind of like trying to help and whatever the need, uh, team needs me to. Uh, but, you know, like being there with Kyra, with Kiel, that gives us like extra options, like with people handle the ball, Najee can handle the ball sometimes as well. You know, obviously it will be a little different when Zion and when now Brandon's back, but... Uh, I think it, that gives us kind of the versatility you talk about from the second unit, especially, and uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, accepting whatever role is, is, is there for me. And with being kind of here, are there like times during training camp where you're like the three, you know, or like you're Second. Running, are there times during training camp where you're like the three, like you're guarding small forward? Uh, well, sometimes, obviously, but you know, it's not really my my role. You know, usually, usually playing off the ball, but as a, as a two man, you know, uh, uh, still trying to organize the game because that's my kind of game, getting everybody involved. Uh, you know, we talk with Kyra a lot. Lately, we've been playing a lot together. So so it's a good, like, uh, learning experience as well, you know, like just to getting to know uh, the teammates, you know, and what they do well and, uh, you know, trying to look best uh, of our possibilities on the court, you know. But uh, obviously, where I feel the most comfortable, it's, it's with the ball at the one position. And Tom, do you feel like you've developed some kind of synergy with the guys and your teammates over these last, what, three weeks, I guess? Yeah, you know? yeah, definitely. And I think it's much easier when you have a... A uh, group full of young guys, you know, who are just super excited and super motivated, you know, to play in this league and and, and doing it well. And you know, it was, like I said, it's been a very positive energy from from this group uh, since I came here. And uh, you know, having a Billy here, having Jonas also helped for me. You know, yeah, I played with Billy. Jonas is a, is a great guy. Uh, he always looks so mean on the court. You know, I'm like you're actually a great guy. You know, I never expected that. So, so I'm I'm glad that uh, you know that he's on the team and uh, it's been it's been fun so far. Pretty pretty high energy guy. Right? Yeah, he is. He is. Uh, so well, in the morning he's not a morning guy, you know. But uh, it's good for him that we play five on five after a long warm up, you know. So he gets gets into that. But now he's a uh, he's definitely a very energetic guy, and uh, you know I think it helps him a lot on. The, Rebound. <laughs> hey, we don't we don't talk about Canada. Yet. We don't talk true. about Canada. Yet. Never never said. Said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I think I think that it actually helps him a lot with this game, you know, because uh, you always get the energy from him, especially on the on the rebounds and offense. Uh, that's where he dominated so far. You know, we I got, we, we kind of talked about Keel before. Um, how was the synergy between you two working off of each other? How's it grown? I think uh, you know. Well. It's been good, but like since I talked to you guys that we play a lot, of, we just played against each other, you know. So I think it's 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 important for the coach to see like what what's are all the options of the lineups and of the personnel playing with each other and uh, playing together. So uh, that's that's been that's been good. But like like I told you, you know, he's super talented guy. So I'm just kind of like learning how to play around him, how to help him to his best abilities but uh it, it, it's been it's been going good and you know he's definitely you know, one of the most talented players i've played with coach talked about how he wants to get the rotation down to like 10 or 11 guys mm -hmm. how difficult do you think that's going to be with just how many players you guys have here like it's, it's more a question for a coach obviously <laughs> but uh you know it's sometimes it's tough to rotate to that many players that's why you know you got to understand that as an nba player that sometimes even if you don't play the game uh you, you still you still have to be helpful for the group and uh, there's a next game in one or two days and uh, sometimes nothing personal you know sometimes just like what coach decision 
was like that we felt that's the best lineup out there and uh, you know you have to accept that but like like I said it's very difficult sometimes to rotate many players just so everybody has a great good feel of the game so uh, you know I, I don't think it's going to be a problem with that that group you know